Hello. So I've done some more fixing and some more tweaks to the finger system. And I think it's pretty much ready. So let's test it out with a bunch of different avatars and see how it works. I'm actually gonna open some worlds so we have a nice environment to test them in. So let's go for example here. It's one of my favorite maps. There we go. So we're loading in. So, whoop, let me fly. There we go. So as you can see, you know, my fingers are, are fully moving. I can curl them. Same the thumb. The thumb uh, previously had some issues, but now it is fixed. <laughs> you can actually see, like, me using the thumbstick. One thing that's a little bit weird on this avatar is that um, the way the thumb is rotated, actually it should be rotated like by 90 degrees, but uh, the way it's set up it makes it a little bit weird because it looks like it's curling to the side, so it needs to be adjusted manually. But because like usually your thumbs, your thumb isn't facing down, it's actually sort of tilted by 90 degrees, and most avatars are made that way, but not this one. But other than that, a lot of motions should be should be fine. So I can actually spawn a mirror. So it's uh, so it's feels so weird after like being used to my hands um, being motionless. Suddenly, seeing motion is uh, it's a very interesting feeling. So let's open a mirror. There we go. Uh, I still need to wait for my other uh, knuckles kit because uh, this one I, the straps on my kit is uh, are broken. So essentially, I need to I need to keep holding the controller and it actually uh, that interferes with the tracking a little bit. But it is a very good test, and I should I should, I should arrive tomorrow actually I think. So I will do another test uh, then. But I think it's working pretty well. As you can see, I have full range of the motion. So let's try another avatar. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, I need to fix this as well. Uh, let's try the skeleton. The skeleton is a pretty good test. Because you can see the... Well, the skeleton. So we'll close the menu. See, I can curl my hands, the thumb. If I make a fist, this is looking... It's looking pretty much the way it should. So there was actually an issue where I was incorrectly feeding one of the bones. So essentially the, the metacarpal was fed, but the proximal bone wasn't fed into the system because I accidentally swapped it with uh, intermediate, which doesn't exist for the tram. So it wasn't using that one. So now it's, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> It's actually very mesmerizing to play with. I can win once I also add like the leap motion again, so you can actually use because with the, with the knuckles like, you can do certain things. I can like tilt my fingers to the sides. It only you see it only it only measures curl around the controller. So it's sort of it's sort of just estimating where the fingers are. The estimation is pretty good, but. Uh, it doesn't have like a complete like reach of the motion or nearly complete, which flip motion does. So there's gonna be another interesting option that will be usable with the system. So let's try uh, another avatar. Let's try the human one. The hands are also a bit freakish on this one, but uh, it's gonna have test. You can actually see I, I still have it with the testing environment. So the avatars they are actually moving their fingers. <laughs> even if I'm not wearing them. So that's another thing that uh, needs to be done. But I still have it just for testing purposes. And so it's uh, always a bit creepy, but um, a good test as well. Give it thumbs up, thumbs down. Can do any gestures. Okay, seems good enough. Let me try. Let's move the mirror over here. Let me try another one. So well, let's try the hail guy. This one actually works pretty well as well. This is a pretty old old model from an old game, but uh, the figures are also working really really well. 
as a result of an intersection or a thumb, so that's, that's an offset. And you can always like tweak these avatars to work better with, uh, with the system. Okay, let's try another. Wait, is this the... <laughs> it's actually cool that, that like when you, when you grab stuff, like you actually make like a grabbing motion. Everything I want to do in the future is actually like IK for grabbing things. So when you grab something, it will compute finger limits. So essentially your fingers don't go through the model, but uh, that's something for the future. Okay, good enough. Um, let's try, oh, let's try this, uh, this hail guy. This one also works pretty well. It's very, very shiny. So, also working pretty well. Let's see what else we do we have. Um, let's try this one. This one, this one is gonna be a little bit messed up because it, it has it has a script which curls the fingers when the palm is like towards me. So I need to I need to do it like this. Uh, this one, uh, the script needs to be removed uh, for the fingers to work properly because it's interfering. But uh, if I if I do it like this, it's working pretty good. I cannot I cannot let go completely of the controller because it would fall out of my hand, so I cannot test I cannot test like with the hand completely open. I'm sort of balancing it on my hand now. I'll test it once I have the I uh, once it's actually interesting is the Sonic character. So this this has like freakishly big hands, but it actually works really really well with with the fingers. Which is kind of interesting. So it's kind of surprise me. The artist is my favorite, Isaac. The hands are a bit blue, but uh, this one needs a little bit of an adjustment on the rotation. I'll see if I can also tweak the heuristics, but um, it's mostly working the way it should. It's just some weird offsets in the palm rotation. So, let's see, what else do I have? Uh, let's try uh, some of the new Essentials ones. So, I have the one made by uh, Delirious Jax. So, this one's also working. The rigging is a little bit strange on the fingers here, so... This is not working in the way entirely it should, but I see it still works. Even even like uh, even if it's not one hundred percent, you get basic motion. You can move your fingers. You can do gestures. So it's mostly just a matter of uh, tweaking it and improving it over time. Let's try the business lawyer one. That's also like messed up uh, because it has its own finger system installed. Uh, let's try the angel dragon. That's it's actually an interesting one. And this one actually surprisingly works really well too. So see, like it, it has like these uh, little stubby fingers, but it doesn't have a full range of motion the way a more human hand would have. But uh, I think it's, it is pretty good. Automatically retargeted. It is also missing one of the fingers, so it's actually mapped to the middle finger. But my my ring finger is ignored, so but my pinky works. So essentially there's like a missing finger. And right now the system it needs to actually have five fingers on the avatar. Let me actually show you another example. Actually hold on, let's try, let's try this one. So there's also another example. It kind of depends like on the way the hand is rigged. But you see it also works. Also needs some better offsets so the fingers are going a little bit to the side, so the forward direction is a little bit messed up. But you can all adjust all of that like dynamically through the inspector as needed. So let's have a look, what else do we have here? Oh yes, I wanted to show you... Which one did I want to show you? Uh, yes, yes, uh, the uh, armor everly. So let's have a look. So this is the one next one exists, and Actually, also, I saw a little bit weird offsets by default. So this one would need some manual adjusting, but you can see as long as it's inverted because it has just it has just three fingers on each hand. So I have my thumb. The thumb is actually working. I can curl it. I can, I can 
kind of like do subtle motions. And this one, this one is, uh, this is my index finger. So my index finger is curling. And this is, uh, this is the ring finger. This is maps to the ring finger. So see, this, this also works. I can do sort of gestures. As many gestures as I can do, like with just three fingers. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much uh, just pretty much a quick test of the finger system, and I think uh, I think it's pretty much ready. So I just need to wrap it up. Let me actually go back to my my own avatar. So essentially, now I need to like wrap it up. So essentially, it's uh, it it doesn't like make all of avatars do this. So essentially just install dynamically on the avatar. The source information, the finger data, is fed dynamically onto the avatar, so it can actually come from uh, lots of like different sources. That's mostly implemented, it just installs, it just like sort of, uh, there's a hard-coded component which feeds the data right now, so it's gonna link up dynamically, and it's gonna use uh, stream synchronization instead of just, instead of just positioning, which is very inefficient, so. It's just a few things remaining. And we have fingers in EOS <gasps> pretty soon, in a day or two. And after that is done, I'm also going to be working on like adding the leap motion and Oculus Touch uh, so it can actually feed the data. And also a procedural gesture system. So if, if you don't have you don't have actual source of uh, finger data for the from your controllers or whatever device you are using, it's gonna it's gonna use a procedural, essentially. It's something similar to, to what people have already been doing. But like, for example, if you put your hand like near you, it's gonna it's gonna curl the fingers, and you can press buttons like to make some predefined gestures. So pretty exciting. So I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching this, and see you soon with a finger update. Bye, guys.